Well, Move to Amend is a multiracial, multi-ethnic coalition of groups and individuals who are coming together to abolish the illegitimate court-created ideas that a corporation is a person with inherent unalienable constitutional rights and that money is speech. Two illegitimate court-created legal doctrines that are preventing we the people from actually governing ourselves. Hi, my name is Dennis Trainer Jr. I'm the director of a new documentary on the Move to Amend Coalition. My last documentary was on the Occupy Wall Street movement. It was called American Autumn and OcuDoc. We were very lucky in that we got some great accolades and some great press for that documentary. Uh, more importantly for me, I met a lot of the members of the Move to Amend Leadership Coalition uh, who were featured prominently in that documentary. This documentary that I'm creating right now with and for Move to Amend, I'll create a documentary that we can uh, license very freely, that we can give away, get out into the world as widely as possible so that we can exponentially grow the Move to Amend Coalition. So please consider a generous donation to help offset the costs of making this documentary right now. And to tell you more about the Move to Amend Coalition, I'll introduce you to some of the voices that you'll hear in the documentary when it's completed. So I actually think that right now it's, a, it's really a world historical kind of a moment. Um, of course, Occupy didn't happen in a vacuum. It ha happened with all of these other social uh, movements happening all over the world. People are saying it's time for something new. So I think that that's why right now there really is the potential to move people in a particular direction towards an amendment. But I even think that beyond the amendment, it's so much broader than that. We're talking about it in a completely new way of understanding what democracy is, why it's important, and how our economic systems uh, globally will need to be reconstructed. The thing that makes me the most angry about corporations exercising rights is the fact that the Supreme Court ruled that corporations were people before women were people. We've got 20 to 25 percent of the children in the richest country in the world who go to bed hungry or undernourished every night. I'm angry about the fact that we have transnational corporations that are destroying the planet that we depend upon for life itself. And I'm angry about the fact that the world that's being created with the rape and plunder of Mother Earth is a racist, sexist, and class oppressive society. You bet I'm angry. I'm angry because it doesn't have to be this way. And we at Move to Amend have heard from all people in all walks of life, across race, across class, across gender in different parts of the country, with different political backgrounds and different political parties. All of these folks are ready to stand up against the inappropriate illegitimate use of corporate power and corporate constitutional rights that can overturn public health, environmental safety, environmental protection, public safety, and campaign finance laws. This will not stand. So I think we see all sorts of different groups of people being, you know, realizing that they're under the same boot and that boot is a giant corporate boot and they're fighting against it and they realize that in order to win and also in order to recognize the ways that their issues intersect they have to work together so I think we see a movement of movements forming to fight corporations. I think this confluence is really a powerful thing that if we understand it and frame it correctly we can really have the basis for a social movement that will make us victorious. So I think they'll look at it and say, how long did they, did they take that shit? <laughs> Just like they looked at Jim Crow and said, how long did we take that shit? Yeah. You know? But that's why I think it's, it's possible for history, to be, for the future to look back on this period and be amazed. Not so much that we overturned it, but be amazed that we took it for so long.